Hi everyone, Carol here and it's Monday the 27th of April. I hope that you're all keeping well um, and that you've had a, a good uh, weekend and um, enjoyed some of the sunshine that we've had. I just wanted to update you on a few things over the next uh, minute or, or so uh, and in particular the results of our testing of our preparation. So um, as you will know, we've had the military working with us in a number of areas and on Friday afternoon they did a walkthrough of our test of our plan and they tested our plan and um, I'm delighted to say that they uh, have given us really positive feedback. So uh, huge thanks to everyone who's been involved in the planning and the preparation for COVID-19. As you'll be aware, we haven't had a huge demand uh, during the first wave, uh, unlike our colleagues seen in Aaron Bevan and in some other parts of the UK. Um, and uh, the fact that we haven't had that demand is uh, largely down to the efforts of the public in terms of um, social distancing and staying at home. That's had a really positive uh, effect and we haven't been overwhelmed as an NHS system. Um, we've been able to therefore take stock of whether we have actually met a trigger point in order to deploy our plan fully and at this stage I'm pleased to say that we haven't met that trigger to fully deploy um, and therefore uh, we continue in the preparation and maintenance phase uh, at this stage. So um, uh, thank you to everyone who's still actively preparing, going through orientation, induction, training sessions, etc. Um, because it's really important that uh, you are ready and prepared in case we have to deploy you uh, in the near future. The reason I mention that in particular is because we know that there's likely to be some easement of the restrictions, um, the lockdown. Um, we don't know what they are yet and we don't know when, but there's always a risk with that, that uh, the virus can take hold again and we have a second wave. And we want to all want to avoid that and um, uh, you know risk the progress that we've made already. So, so uh, steady as we go, uh, it feels really important at this stage. Um, I also just want to touch on the work that we're doing now this week um, and that's about really examining how we can balance both COVID work and non-COVID work. We'll have to be quite flexible because if we do get second peaks our focus will need to be on COVID um, but if we don't and we can progress as we've been then we've got capacity that we'd like to use for people without COVID and uh, making sure they can get care and treatment um, uh, as in the normal uh, stage, you know, pre-COVID, pre if you can remember that. Uh, so we're going to be doing that work and I can come back to you um, a bit later in the week on that. And then finally, I do want to come back to testing because very soon the government will be talking about the next stage of their testing plan um, where that becomes probably mass testing. So lots to look forward to uh, in the world of COVID and non-COVID and I'll be back again with you soon to update you. But it, for the meantime, thank you all very much for what you're doing and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye bye for now.